Hello everyone, and welcome to another Thursday video devotion. You know, we've kind of had a rough year. We've had a pandemic which has completely destroyed the economy. And then we had all these kind of other strange yet terrible things. Remember when we were talking about murder hornets? And now we've just recently had all these big wildfires out west. Uh, we're divided as a country politically and with the election coming up and now with the appointing of a new Supreme Court justice, things are just exacerbated. Everybody is divided. You know, sometimes you just wonder, is there any hope are things ever going to get better? I imagine there's a lot of you out there wondering that. Is there any hope? Well, I've come to tell you today that there is hope. Because with Jesus, there is always hope. Let me tell you a story that illustrates that point. There was a man named Jairus, and Jairus's only child, his daughter of 12 years, was sick, and she was about to die. Jairus had just about lost hope. So he went to find Jesus. His only hope was to find this teacher that he had heard could heal all sorts of diseases. And the Bible tells us he found Jesus, he fell down on the ground, and he begged Jesus to come and heal his 12-year-old daughter. And Jesus agreed. He starts traveling with Jairus to Jairus' house so he can heal his daughter. I imagine when Jairus heard that Jesus would come and heal his daughter, he was filled with hope and overjoyed. But then... As Jairus and Jesus and this crowd of people were traveling to Jairus' house, they were interrupted. You see, another woman who had just about lost all hope came to find Jesus. It says this woman had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. The Bible tells us that she had spent all her money on many doctors to try and handle her condition, to try and heal it, but to no avail. Her condition just got worse. So her only hope left was to find Jesus. And she told herself, if I just, if I just touch the corner of his cloak, I will be healed. So she worked her way through the crowd. She grabbed the edge of Jesus' cloak, and she was healed from her bleeding. Well, Jesus stops the crowd, and Jesus and this woman have a little conversation, and this woman's hope was restored. She was healed. But you know, I often wonder what Jairus was thinking during this little interruption. I wonder if he was kind of wringing his hands all nervous, like thinking, okay, great Jesus, you healed her, awesome, now please come and heal my daughter. And then his hopes were completely dashed. Some of his friends came and told him, Jairus, your daughter has died. And they said, why bother the teacher anymore? Essentially, they told him, there's no more hope. Your daughter is dead. But Jesus tells Jairus, don't be afraid, just believe. Jesus and the crowd go to Jairus' house. Jesus takes Jairus and his wife and a few disciples into the room where the little girl is lying. He grabs her by the hand and he says, Little girl, I say to you, get up. And that dead girl was raised to life. Jairus' hope was restored. One day, Jesus is going to come back and he's going to do some things similar to what he did for this woman and for Jairus and his daughter. He's going to end all sickness and suffering and death and he's going to take us to be with him in heaven. And we get to go there because Jesus has already taken care of our biggest problem. He's forgiven us of our sins, washed us new, 
made us wonderful children of God. So with Jesus, there is always hope. Dear members of Trinity, I'd like to challenge you to spread the hope. This week, we're doing our chalk message challenge. What we want you to do is do a little chalk art project. Title it, There is Hope. Draw a picture illustrating the hope we have in Jesus. And then under that, write at Trinity Brilliant, hashtag, there is hope. Remember, with Jesus, there is always hope. And we'd like you to spread that message of hope into a world that desperately needs it. We look forward to seeing you again, and I look forward to seeing all your art projects. Until then, God be with you.